Um, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to start doing, is something that I talked about doing for a long time. Um, and what that was is, uh, you see per people's videos, and they get a car, and it has a certain code, and, uh, you know, it's a P0300 or P0305, and it's a misfire, and they figure out the problem. I'm going to attempt to do something that I've never seen anyone else do. And I'm not just somebody who watches a couple videos and decides to do something that everybody else does. I'm somebody that's watched probably thousands of repair videos. Um, I've probably watched every single Eric the Car Guy video. Um, I've watched every single Scanner Danner video at least three times. I've read his book. Um, that doesn't give me any qualifications for anything. But I'm not bragging about myself here. What I want to do, what I want to accomplish, is I want to help people. That's what I want to do. I want to have a direct fix for a direct code or at least give you three or four different options of what it can be and how to check it. That's what my main goal is to do. And eventually I think I want to write a book on it. Somebody may steal my idea. Somebody may take this idea from me. But what came to my mind is why wait for cars to have problems? Let's cause the car to have a problem. Let's. I was thinking about snipping wires, but that's a pain in the butt. Why wait for, you see a wiring, there's a wiring harness over there and it's filled with cables that run to the computer. If any one of those wires breaks, it's probably going to send a code or something like that. Most often it's going to set a code. If it's grounded, it might cause a short circuit and that may cause some issues. Um, in other words, what I want to do is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to do the best that I can do. Um, I'm going to not break the wires. I'm going to disconnect the wires. Like, for example, I have that wire disconnected right there. I'm going to tell you what that wire is for. I'm going to tell you what it's used for. I'm going to tell you what sensor it's used for. What's its purpose? I'm going to disconnect it. In other words, it's almost as if having the wire cut. It's as if the wire was cut there. It's as if the, the sensor was bad, open. It's as if the ground was cut open or bad. Um, what I want to do is gather information for people. This has nothing to do about me bragging or anything. But in all honesty, I've never seen other people do this. And I'm proud to say that, you know, I'm doing it. But I encourage other people to do it. I'm one person. I'm one person. I encourage other people to do this. And I encourage other people to contribute their information so that we can all learn. So that we can all learn from each other. And I, I, some of you are saying, what's going on right now? I don't understand what you're doing. C uh, code is set when a wire is broken or grounded or open or the sensor is open or grounded or broken it causes a problem but you don't know the fix for the problem you have to buy special tools you have to buy a scope you have to buy uh, certain things from from companies like the uh, snap on uh, the, the you have to subscribe to certain things you gotta pay money you gotta do this what I want to do is I want to try to offer that information for free um, so we're going to start with this mass airflow sensor. It's uh, three wires are dedicated to the mass airflow sensor. Two wires are dedicated to the um, intake air temperature sensor. It, it's both a, a mass airflow sensor and it's also an intake air temperature sensor. You can see right here, I, I pulled that wire out. That wire is completely pulled out. And what I did was, I've already identified what it was. Um, this right here. And I'll actually show you how I, how, how I identified it. I'll try to get the light out here. Um, 
So we have, this is on a lot of different vehicles. Now I made a video about this uh, a while back. Um, this is the intake air temperature sensor right here. Okay. And then I went across those two wires right here. You connect the ohm meter across those two. And I figured out it was these two right here. This is the 5 volt reference and this is the ground. And what I did was disconnect the 5 volt reference. And then I plugged it in and I started the vehicle. So right now this is the 5 volt reference, the second from the left. And that's the ground right there for this intake air temperature sensor. The other ones down in here are for the mass airflow sensor. Those will be those other three wires. I disconnected the 5 volt feed for this intake air temperature sensor. And I started the vehicle and this is the code that I got. And this code will be set if that white for the if that wire for the 5 volt reference is broken. Also the code will be set if the ground is broken. Also it'll be set if the sensor itself is uh, open, not shorted, but open. Now on the other hand, you would have you would probably not have any communication with the computer. You probably would not have any communication with the computer if it was shorted to a ground. These are the codes we get. We have P0110 intake air temperature sensor 1 circuit. P0100 generic mass or volume air flow circuit. P0101 generic mass or volume air flow circuit range performance. If you got any one of those codes, you might want to look at the 5 volt reference for that particular uh, wire, the 5 volts for the intake air temperature sensor. Thanks for watching my videos. There's more of these to come. Comment, rate, and subscribe.